it's your girl gael again with another makeup tutorial are y'all ready for this it's gonna be cute you know today's easter happy easter y'all welcome back to my channel everybody happy easter i'm late i know but this look was for easter i was super excited i was feeling myself you know your girl was dancing with no music on <laughs> anyways so right now what i'm adding to my lids is my urban decay eyeshadow primer potion eden i'm telling you this thing is amazing i ended up putting way too much on my lids i try to wipe a little bit off my hands so i could blend that in really well so like the eyeshadow could sit on nicely and go on evenly so nyla's always wanting to be in my video she popped up guys you know your girl is into makeup as well she was trying to do her own makeup on my face but i said nah and um right now i'm using my um juvia's palette the zulu by juvia it's one of my favorite palettes because it has so many colors especially for we're in spring now and summer is coming the colors are just beautiful and they're really pigmented as well and it's really cheap they're always having a sale which i love because like they'll have like four palettes for like twenty dollars or like thirty something like that but yeah so i'm adding that dark brown into my lids first as you can see i'm not going all over my lids i'm just doing the crease because i'm gonna add another color on top of that and it's gonna be yellow and i'm using that same palette for the yellow and then i'm also gonna be using another palette to add on top of that yellow so yep there you go using that yellow color and what you're gonna do i'm just gonna go over it on my lids nicely making sure everything is blending just going on smoothly i did add a little i did end up having a little bit of brown go over my lids but that's okay because that yellow is just gonna mix right in with the brown which is what i want as well because it's gonna create this like sunset kind of but not really and um yeah just blending that yellow in all the way the way i like it making sure it's nice and you know smooth on my lids um and then i'm gonna go over with my color Dorain palette from it's um vivid pigments and shadows and the yellow i choose girl is called lemon drop and that yellow you can see it's super pigmented i put it on and it's just like boom right there it's like here i am <laughs> anyways so yeah so i'm just adding that to my lids blending it really well and as like some part like at the beginning you could see that i was just like dabbing it on my lids so you know the color could stay and that i could get more of that pigment and then i just went and blended in after that but girl this yellow looks good I was feeling myself. When I tell you feeling myself on Sunday, I was feeling myself. I was like, yes, girl. I did a yellow look not too long ago, just like for me to go take pictures outside, but I didn't make a video for that one. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to do yellow again. Let's show the people, you know? Show the people, show the people what yellow can do for them. I know like um, us like black girls, we're really scared with like bright colors because we don't know how it's gonna look on us but honestly it looks really good when you put that color those colors on it just pops especially if you know how to and blending everything works it works we could do those crazy colors too you know sis so um i'm adding my glue to my lids first when i tell you this is the easiest process because your lash is gonna go on so nice and quick you don't have to wait for nothing to dry at all nothing Nyla was still trying to make an appearance on my live and she did a little bit she was just super excited I was like yo girl back up I'm trying to put my lashes on okay so you see how easy those went on like look one two three bow wow damn girl where you going you see how easy that was that was so easy to put on I was just making sure now that they're secure it's the way I want it but it's just one two three when you put the glue on your lid first because by the time you put the glue in you go and get the lashes and try to take it out bam it's already dried and right now I'm using my Fenty foundation in the number 420 pro filter 
I love this foundation and I don't at the same time because it's matte and it dries very quickly and like if you don't know what you're doing and you're trying to contour and trying to do all these extra steps you really have to blend because what happened is is that it looks like everything is just sitting on your face so if you're using a Fenty foundation I suggest you um, you know you know what you're doing and also make sure you're blending everything so that it just doesn't look like it's just sitting there on your face but yeah so just blending that foundation making sure my face is even and everything and now I'm about to use her contour stick in the number espresso that sounds so good like it makes me want like a latte like an espresso latte Ooh. But yeah, so it's number espresso, and um, I thought this was um, the concealer that I wanted, but it was actually shimmer, so I switched it up, um, and I'm using her um, using her concealer stick in cinnamon. Cinnamon, I love cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon is your spawn. Anyway, so yeah, so I ended up wetting my sponge, and the thing about wetting the sponge is just that it just make sure everything blends especially that concealer under your eyes on top of your nose and on your forehead on your chin it blends it so nicely because it's damp so like you're patting it on and it, the concealer is just going right in and as well when you're using the powder it's wet as well so that that powder is going right in it's not just sitting on top of your skin you're just blending it nicely into your skin so that's why we wet the sponge and imagine not wetting it it's just like a hard sponge you're trying to blend it's just it just doesn't work it just doesn't work at all but yeah so i'm just blending my contour making sure everything looks good again like i said with the fenty everything dries so you have 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 to make sure you're blending everything so that it just it doesn't look like you just put on foundation you try to contour and then everything is just sitting right on your face like no we can't go out like that ladies no way but yeah so i'm still blending and then i'm gonna add my powder and it's air spun i think that's how you say it i got it at walgreens and it's the translucent extra coverage and just lightly putting that on and when you're putting on your um, powder ladies you could add more or less and if you put too much you could just use your foundation brush and go over that so that you don't look too cakey and i said it before i do not like to bake so i'll put it on leave it on for a little bit and then just brush it and just just brush it right off now i took the same yellow that i used for the color Doreen palette and that lemon drop color to put right under my eyes just you know to pop them a little bit more just a little bit you know you can see that yellow yes girl i just love the yellow it's just bring out your melanin it's just it's just amazing it's just like it's just dope can't help it can't help it i was like i said again i was feeling myself i was <laughs> so as you can see i did took my foundation brush and i went over the powder just a little bit and then now i'm gonna add my blush for the blush i'm using the saharan blush volume 2 palette from juvia juvia just have everything they're just dope i just need them to know you know send your girl some stuff like come on over i'll do reviews for y'all okay oh so i'm gonna be i'm done with my look i'm using my pro touch makeup spray from um kiss i think yeah it's from kiss products and it's matte it's pretty good it just i love this spray your makeup is not going nowhere ladies no and then to top it off, I'm using my Trophy White from Penty Beauty Highlight. This highlight just, oh, it just, oh, I can't even explain it, ladies. Do you see that? Look at that. I messed up a little bit, so I had to take the, the brown and just blend a little bit because I put too much under there. But look at that. Look at that. That just, it just, oh, I can't, I can't. 
just Rihanna just knew what she was doing when she came out with this stuff it's just like she know what we wanted she knows look at my forehead it's just shining and I'm okay with that because it looks good but yeah I'm adding that trophy right, right under my right on top of my cheekbones look at that I just love that highlight it's just when you go into the sun or you have that ring light on you everything just comes together and it's just like ooh, flawless everywhere I just added some of that as well into my corners so it could bring out my eyes a little bit more and my lids so yeah and then I'm using her lipstick in the Mademoiselle color I love this one it's really it goes on nicely it's really smooth um, I added another color as well in the middle I'm still using that Mademoiselle right now just to add a little bit more where you see it's pink in my inner lip and I'm adding the bare mineral color on top of that just to to give me that ombre lip look that I wanted and the color I'm using is the lip from bare mineral and the color friendship now I'm just adding some mascara to my lashes and um, it's easy to use a small one because the big one just make a mess. I just, I don't want to go through with that. But anyways, the sissy-in-law is about to make her appearance. Hi, Becky. But yeah, the look is pretty much done. Just, you know, trying to fix my hair. But yeah, here goes the final look, ladies.